Welcome to the Fortinet Flex VM program video. In this session, we're going to discuss how selected Fortinet virtual machine products can be deployed and licensed automatically using Flex VM. The Fortinet Flex VM product is available to enterprise customers and MSSP providers. It allows administrators to create license configurations and VM entitlements on demand on selected Fortinet VM products. FlexVM can also license FortiGuard services, FortiNet Cloud services, and our support services. The FortiNet Support Portal website allows the creation of license entitlements on demand. There are no restrictions on the number of VM instances, the vCPU size, or FortiGuard services. Licenses are based on virtual appliance CPU size, virtual appliance count, the number of VDONs, or feature licenses, which are charged based on a per point basis. These points are sold as prepaid licenses geared for enterprise customers and for postpaid customers for MSSP with the capability to build back customers on their usage on a per month basis. So you can create as many licenses as you need and set whatever size and services you want. Scalability is paramount in the Flex VM program. You can change the license entitlements at any time to add or remove resources depending on the network requirements without the administrative procurement hassle. And on top of that all, Flex VM provides a very powerful REST API for automating the license lifecycle management. Now here's a quick demo video on how we provision Fortinet VM instance deployed on a VMware ESXi platform with FlexVM. Hi and welcome to the Fortinet FlexVM VMware provisioning. The first thing we have to do uh, in this demo is to log into your VMware ESXi, launch a pre-installed FortiGate VM instance let it load and log in with your credentials and leave it in the background and get it ready for provisioning. Now let's go into the Forty Cloud account, log in, services Flex VM. In this account, we're going to be using Postpaid. Then we create new configuration. Click new configuration. This new configuration, we're going to call it VMware uh, Flex. And then we select the product type, which is service bundle. We select how many CPUs, one CPU, service package, enterprise, virtual domains, let's say four. We click next, review the configuration to make sure it's correct. We submit and we have a successful configuration. Now let's go to the VM entitlement, create new entitlement. This one we're going to be using service bundle again, and we're selecting the previously created uh, configuration. In the description, we call it VMware Flex as well. How many number of virtual machines? We're gonna select two or create two. Expiry will be on the end of the month using user defined, and then we click next. Confirm, and then we submit. And we have a successful VM entitlement. Now, as you can see here, we have entitlements. We have selected uh, two in our previous uh, VM entitlement, so we have two. We're going to use one of them, uh, which is VMware Flex. It's still pending. This is a license file token. I take a copy of the license file token. I go back to my console just to get it prepared. But what I need to do here is I'm going to open up a party session so at least you can see the console's reaction um, you know, when I issue a license file or a license token. So in the party session, I'm going to log in with my credentials. And we issue an execute vm-license. Just to make sure, go back to the uh, file token again. Go back to my party session. I'll show you the console interface again and this is my putty so uh, i paste it the token file as you can see it's going to ask me to reboot the system 
and the reaction of the system goes requesting 48 license token vm license install succeeded rebooting firewall which means we have issued a license to the platform as it reboots you know you could uh, see that the platform has a license file already and uh, in a moment we will go to the 40 cloud account to make sure that we have that license file the license file the serial number here is 1286 and i log into the gui interface of the 40 gate instance that we create we created recently and license as well as you can see on the top we have 1286 as the host and the serial number and it's currently licensed let's go to the 40 cloud account uh, on the entitlements as you can see 1286 and it's currently active thank you for watching